It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Giants and the 49ers on Thursday night primetime. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the so-called Silicon Valley and Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the San Francisco 49ers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And a glance here at the vet. He's got a lot of years under his belt in the National Football League. And when you watch him play, everything just looks like it comes so naturally to him. When he's dialed in and finds that zone, Passes are crisp, he sees the field really well, and he takes charge as the leader of this offense. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Montana. He's got it complete to Crabtree. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Now Montana. That'll be caught by Rice. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. 
Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Play fake. Now here's Montana. He's got his target. That's complete. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They will look to throw Montana toward the pylon caught. Touchdown for the Niners. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, we know he has decent hands out of the backfield. That's the first time, Charles, they've targeted him in the passing game, and it pays dividends. And I love the design, too, because they kept him in the backfield and made the defense think run first before they swung him out of there. And you're right, with his hands, they might want to throw it to him just a little bit more. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. The 49ers ready to kick it away. And here we go. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. So now here are the Giants backed up to start their first drive. And a look here at their signal caller, the fifth-year quarterback. This is what this man was born for, the big spotlight on the national stage like this. Really, his entire career has demonstrated incredible poise no matter what type of situation his team was in. No situation is too big for him, and you can tell in the way that he takes the field. His self-belief is evident, and he gets the job done in his mind each and every time. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Here's second and ten. Up the middle they go with Barber. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. Throwing his Manning on third down. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Oh, my goodness. Was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> well, look at the former defensive back. You're, you're all smiles up here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return, and the Niners will go on offense first and ten. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. But just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 49. Throw left side complete. That's Owens. It'll be a gain of five. 
And it's second down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. Play action. It's Montana. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. A tough spot here, third and 15. To throw is Montana. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Got to give the offensive coordinator credit there. He got right into the head of the defensive coordinator because right on the heels of the sack on second down, he figured they were going to come at him hard again. And so he went ahead and hit him with a brilliant call. Screen pass works well enough. They're able to pick up a first down. That's one way to keep that defense at bay. They suspected it was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down and eight. Here's Montana to throw. In trouble, and he's taken down. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Boy, every time I see speed like that off the edge, Charles, I just don't know how these offensive linemen do it. I would think that they would get called for holding every play, and maybe they should have been called for holding on that one. Yeah, maybe not just holding, but sometimes you end up setting back in the offensive backfield a little bit farther to try and help you with the edge. That's a penalty as well. Sometimes you overset, they'll come inside of you. That's what speed does. It disrupts an offense, and right now, you've got to pay attention to this edge rusher on every single down. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss of 11 on third down. Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. And a good welcome for a guy who had some great years as a 49er, Andy Leon, to kick it away. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. And it may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A quick first down pickup. Good start after going three and out on their opening drive. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. You often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. On second down, Barber. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. 
I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. A first down carry for Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. What an advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. This is second and eight. To throw is Manning. And he's got Shockey. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll leave him with a third and two. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. They'll try and run here with Barber. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, it wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went ahead and went heavy. No surprise on who was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. First down, they go with Barber again. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now Manning. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And this will wind up being a third and three. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. On third down, here comes Barber. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. They're able to convert with a gain of four. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. And here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Giant football, and we're ready to begin the second quarter as they go to work on a first and goal. Barber. He is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Manning going to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. The Giants on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Throwing now is Manning. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. From four yards out. And the Giants are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Now the try here for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. 
So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. There the 49ers getting set to trot out there. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. start this drive out on the ground and down he goes but he takes it up to the 40 successful start to the drive 17 yards and moves the sticks they went counter there offensively and a couple of defenders were on skates for a second they certainly were and you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections sometimes you don't have to block the defender he can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly First and ten for Montana and company. Over the middle, that's caught by Owens. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. A handoff right. It's Gore. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. The Niners on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and eight. Now whistles here, and I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. And they'll accept that penalty. Still third down. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. He'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. On first down, it's Craig, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Now a second and six. They'll look to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Just his second incompletion so far. He's 8 for 10. I think he'll take 80%. There's no doubt that he will, but if you're the defensive play caller, you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because you just caused an incompletion. You need a few more of those. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Yeah. 
And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. And New York set to take the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Running with Barber out of the gun. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. 43 yards rushing for him now to this point. That was a good run. Probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Two yards still to go. Third down now. Now Manning. And that is incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's his second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. And the Giants send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Ayuk to return it. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at the 45. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Second and 10. They're going to look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Rice. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down 49ers. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. On first down, it's Gore. And down to the 36-yard line here. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three. Now back to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. So from the 22, here's second and two. They'll set up a throw. Over the middle to Kittle, complete. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, 
definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Here's Gore on the toss right. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. I can't help it, partner. I love backs who have a lot of burst. Yeah, they ran the toss play. By the way, sometimes you'll hear toss and pitch used interchangeably, but that was the toss. Well, for me, a toss, quarterback takes the snap, turns around, tosses it to like the tailback. Like an egg underhand. Yeah, like an egg underhand, really with two hands. And a pitch, usually like you're running an option-type play, and you pitch it out there to the trailing back. It goes end over end like a field yeah, goal. Yeah, where you turn it over, make sure that thumb turns down and the ball flips end over end slowly and delicately to your running back. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This take it in at the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. And the Giants ready to come out now. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7. So a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. the ground it's Barber to start the drive and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage two yards the loss second and 12. Yeah another negative play in an early down situation this one to start the drive you're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage first play of the drive goes the wrong way here's second and 12. They'll send a receiver in motion left once again it's Barber and he'll get this one up to about his 14. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Manning now to throw. And he's caught. And he'll be taken down but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Barber on first and ten. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll fight for a couple as the tackle is made at about the 32. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. From the gun on third down, Manning. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. And the Giants send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This returnable for Ayuk. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Well, San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? 
It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. <laughs> and that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Now a second and ten. Now Montana throwing the out route incomplete. That's Owens. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Montana. And a throw there going to be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Now Andy Lee will come on to punt this one away. This is taken at the 15. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And it'll be giant football first and 10. And New York set to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Manning now on first down. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. They'll run the draw with Barber. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Clock rolling as the Giants will hurry to the line. Manning to throw on second down. And that went to the right side and incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding even though there's no way that ball was going to be caught. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Manning to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the 49ers will take over deep in their own territory. First down, Montana. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 
Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. To throw is Montana. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Rice. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Here's a second and five. Here's Montana to throw. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. They will look to throw Montana. And that one goes incomplete on the drive. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package. Lots of speed. No space to fit in the football. Here's Andy Lee now. As he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. This is taken at about the 14. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And they will take over first and 10. The Giants now going to take over late in this first half. With his slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half, we'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Now Manning. And he's got Shockey. Short completion, just four yards at its second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. One final try now for Manning. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. A one touchdown ball game, 14 7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and tackled at the 21 yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter. And Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went in at the half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? Just what they need, a lecture from me, but subpar offense is what helped get them into this spot. And now they're continuing the trend with incompletions. 
That won't get them out of it if they don't change something soon. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. A run up the middle with Barber. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Caught that look from me there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Gore. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. On second down, it's Craig, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Here is third down and four. They'll drop to throw. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to four. I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, with talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. A sack like that, maybe that can get them going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said, that they got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position to find a way to win the game. Here's Andy Lee now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And now out come the Giants. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. A nice looking play to start the drive down the middle and complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. A well executed 22 yard gain. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Here's a handoff to Barber. Dances by him. And this will be a Giants first down as good running gets him to about the 44. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll stay on the ground with Barber. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Manning the throw on second down. 
And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. Sometimes we wonder about play calls, but this one made perfect sense to me. He's got the only touchdown that they've scored in this game. Tried to get it to him again on another deep ball. Throwing his Manning on third down. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. They'll try and start the drive here with Gore. That's to about the 28. Second down coming up. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's the second down at six. Shotgun. Here's Montana. Drops it underneath the goal. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Operating out of the gun, here's Montana. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. Like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Here's the veteran punter, Lee, as he sends this one away. This is taken at the 23. And call that an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And New York set to take the field. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. The end result, 21 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. Throwing on first down is Manning. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 30. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected. But this is a good pickup here for the first down. Up the middle they go with Barber. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. 
Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On play action, now Manning. Right to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. They've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first round. they got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 17-yard line. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Back to the running game with Barber. And he's heating up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Now Manning throwing on second down. He's got his big tight end here. They'll give him four yards there. And now third down and six to go. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Throwing his Manning. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Giants are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. They give it off here to the tight end. And he takes it in zone for a giant TD. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Giants are an extra point away from drawing level. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. Extra point right down the middle. And we are tied at 14. A 10-play drive that time, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 72 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff. And when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't. But also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taken charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. 
And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. On second down, Montana. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Crabtree, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, 49ers! A great effort there. 37 yards. And the Niners have moved out in front here in the final minute of the third quarter. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Extra point attempt here still to come. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive, four plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Barber. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. a short one here complete to his tight end they do get a couple but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up got to give credit where it's due really nice defense on that play the pitch and catch was successful but not any run after it one quarter remains here in this thursday night matchup this is the national football league on ea sports back now here in santa clara it's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. Throwing now is Manning. And this one is incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear of risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get them the completion. And the Giants send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10.
from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Play fake. Now here's Montana. Gets this one to use check. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. I think they tried to fool him on that one. You know, be able to throw the ball to the fullback position. No one was fooled on that play. No, lost yardage. You think they should yank that one from the playbook, at least uh, for the time being? <laughs> I, think you, I think what you do is you take it out and you evaluate it next week in practice. Now on second down, this is Gore. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. 83 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Now whistles here. And I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. Still first down. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. Now Montana. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Second and 15. Up the middle they go with Gore. There he goes outside. And he will finally be taken down at the Giants' 20. A big play there for the Niners. 41 yards on the ground. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on him to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Montana. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football into places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And Davis won it left side. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. That's a great run right there on first down. Didn't quite get into the end zone, but now you've set yourself up for at least two, maybe three more shots from close range. Gore is going backwards here. Now they come in and drop him all the way back at the four-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word, put it in ball, and here we go. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Great 
defense there on third and goal. They took away everything, forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is indeed good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal to start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. This fielded right at the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. But New York set to take the field. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And able to give one man the slip there as he works his way forward for about three. I think they want to start getting back into this game. It behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. From the 22 now, here's second down at seven. Now whistles here and a flag down. I think a giant jumped early. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Manning going to throw. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Here's Manning to throw. He'll check this one down to Barber. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. And you've probably gotten some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. He'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Out of the gun, it's going to be Samuel with a run. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's Montana to throw. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. 
Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. But collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, they've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Here's Andy Lee now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And this will be taken at the 13. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And it'll be giant football first and 10. The New York set to take the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. On first down, Manning. Oh, and a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. On first and ten, here's Manning. A quick throw there is incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Manning now to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now a play fake. Manning. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now Manning, got to have this one. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. And room there to work it inside the 25. 128 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. Well, that's a pretty good drive starter right there. And I don't know, partner, if you're even thinking about sitting on the ball right now. They may just want to run their regular offense. In plus territory. And, and as an offensive coordinator, you don't want your team to go into a shell, do you? No, you really don't. Because as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's real hard to put it back on and match it. Because once everyone's emotions come down, it's hard to start them up again. So I think he may want to keep him cranking high right here. Four yards, the pickup, first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. 
They run with Gore out of the shotgun. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. He's having a big game run in the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? To throw is Montana. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. And his kick here is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. Let's see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game, and sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Setting up the screen here, it's Barber. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid gain. Working from the gun, Manning. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Well, plays like that, Charles, no doubt. They're just going to continue to fuel this crowd. And this defense is already playing well, but it also feeds on the energy of that crowd that you're talking about, and that takes them up to another level. Right now, they're playing really loose. They've got the lead, and what a nice stop they just made there behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, this won't be enough. Stopped a yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. Short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. That is caught. And he will pick up the first down as he is out of bounds. And on that, we will reach the two-minute warning. From the gun, here's Barber. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. To throw, it's Manning. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40.
Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Manning now on first down. This will be dumped off to Barber. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Here comes second down at five. Throwing is Manning. Over the middle, it's complete. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Here's first down. Shotgun now for Manning. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? But Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what... And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Point after, right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So there is still time, a little over 50 seconds to go, but this becomes a critical onside kick. And who's got it? The Giants! A big mistake in that spot. You gotta let it go, Tim. They didn't give themselves a chance. They had an opportunity, touched it first, now, they're in a really bad spot. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. They'll give it to Samuel. And he First down, and that ought to be the one that seals the victory. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout 
as the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high-flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did, and just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.